Hey there, the holiday season, I know, can be so nerve-wracking, and we all have that special friend or loved one that's next to impossible to shop for. I wanted to share a few ideas with you today, and perhaps from a market you are not familiar with, the second-hand market. And before you tune me out, just give me a chance. You want your gift to be memorable, don't you? Perhaps bizarre, maybe funny, or just plain thought-provoking. You want to know where I look for real inspiration? I say look no further than an estate auction. Everything you can possibly think of is out there at an online or local auction, and each and every day, and you may not even be aware. And if that whole shopping experience is new to you, I got a video for you first-timers. But if I don't convince you to step out of your comfort zone, maybe not yet, I suggest simply heading down to your local antique mall or thrift store for some amazing ideas. Many are now so well curated you can find just about anything and everything you were looking for and things you weren't looking for and that's where you find inspiration. But enough about where to find the perfect gift, what I promised you was inspirational ideas for the perfect gift. So don't worry, I think I got you covered and I hope this feature inspires you and helps you make someone's holiday season one they will truly never Never forget. So come along because here's my ultimate holiday shopper's idea guide. We're going to start off with the man child. Let's say someone young at heart. He's 40 but maybe acts like he's 12 and you've been best friends forever. Go with a favorite childhood toy. Maybe a 1980s original carded He-Man figure. You're talking like $100 on eBay or maybe even a better deal at a toy auction. They're still appreciating in value too and they make for great conversation pieces. You know, and here's a few other 80s toys for inspiration. Now let's talk about the woman in your life. Maybe you surprise her with estate jewelry. Sounds expensive, right? But the price you pay for a vintage beauty at an estate sale or an auction could be one third, if not a tenth of retail. And you can often find like vintage Tiffany, Cartier, many others with their original boxes and especially at auctions and estate sales. And imagine like surprising someone with a 1930s Art Deco diamond cocktail ring and it has stories to tell. And anyway, you can pick one of these up for three to 500 bucks. So beat that, Jared. And here's a few other beauties I came across. For your special man, you can't go wrong with a vintage watch. Not only are they in style, but you'll find them in all price ranges and they can be an actual investment. You'll be surprised at how much more affordable they are at auction or an estate sale, and at least much better in retail, and plus, they're so much darn cooler. Here's a few of the deals I found. For the avid reader, sorry iPad and Kindle peeps, but the classic first edition leather bound books can be amazing presents. I once gave a friend an early edition of Bram Stoker's Dracula and he still has it on his mantle to this day, 20 years later, and it was 35 bucks in an estate auction. Honestly, it was a steal and I was lucky to score it that cheap, but you get me, there are amazing deals out there. How about a car buff? A classic car might sound crazy, but watch the local car auctions. You can often find like a Mustang or a Chevy that maybe the one he had in high school for 5,000 bucks today. Plus it'll give the family a project or a wonderful lawn ornament. How about a good friend or colleague? I say go with something unusual. The sky's the limit when it comes to strange finds at an estate sale or auction. I found mounted insects or bats. Yeah, that's a good one. Bizarre medical devices, vintage board games, old typewriters. Even that special childhood lunchbox can make a great gift. I once gave a 19th century brass microscope to a doctor friend of mine. He cried and said it was the coolest thing he ever received in his life. I paid about 85 bucks and got daggers from his wife. Here's an interesting one. How about something jade? Asian collectibles continue to be hot and we see this, we've seen the trend for the past three, four years and it shows no signs of slowing down. A carved jade pendant figurine, plaque or small bowl would make a great treasured surprise inside a Christmas stocking or under the tree. And after all, many people believe jade has magical properties. How about collectible coins? Coins have always been solid even during recession. Things to take into consideration when you're looking for them too are rarity. You know, how many coins were minted that year, whether a coin is silver or gold, you know, what mint was it struck at, is it a misstrike, how about some errors, people like some weird stuff. But I say a Morgan silver dollar, maybe a Carson City, you know, with a low mintage could be a great investment and a great gift and maybe becomes that hand-me-down in the family too.
How about Art Deco? What? Yeah, whether it's a piece of costume jewelry or fountain pen or you just can't go wrong with Art Deco gifts and they go with today's style. Often characterized by the bold stylized geometric form and extravagant ornamentation, Art Deco was all the rage in the 1920s and 30s, but cycles always come back. Nearly 100 years later, it's more popular than ever, and I'd say maybe get them something cool like a Deco mantle clock or a Deco radio. Check these out. Here's a cool one, perfume bottles. And I'm not talking about what's hot, and I'm not talking Chanel number no. five, I'm talking the bottles. You know, Tiffany, Lalique, Steuben, Baccarat, they continue to hold their value and they are great conversation pieces and just beautiful to decorate with. They've been desired by collectors ever since their inception and make powerful keepsakes. Vintage knives. How about an old pocket knife or folding knife? They're great stocking stuffers for anybody who appreciates craftsmanship. Collecting knives became popular in the 1960s when the U.S. began requiring knife manufacturers to mark their country of origin. And they've been a hit really ever since. And what I like to look for is like Buck, Case, Queen, Randall, Remington, Schrade. Winchester makes knives as well. Also, there's some amazing custom makers out there who truly produce works of art. You know, of course you could always include a Christmas ornament in a stocking, and, and there are certain antique ornaments that are really cool. But check out Waterford, Dresden, Kugel, even Hallmark. They still do well at auctions and you can pick them up, especially off season. They're a great little investment as well. Some of them are made out of sterling silver, you know, or you can go with something modern. How about an elf on the shelf? Now, I think, you know, because kids from today will probably pay top dollar for these 40 years from now because it's what they remember. It's the way trends work and they always seem to. You know, maybe if we could only ask the ghost of Christmas yet to come, what's going to be worth money 40 years from now, but whatever. I hope this video triggered something for you and makes your shopping list unusual. Check out Live Auctioneers and Valuable, eBay, Highbid, AuctionZip. They all have great search engines for that list you just made. And if you can't find it currently online or at a local auction, check out the antique malls or thrift store. I'd be shocked if you can't find these things. Remember, the thought behind the gift is typically the most important thing. Sure, gift cards are appreciated and safe, but not much thought goes into that. This holiday season, I hope you give some real thought to finding that special gift. It's a great way to show your family and friends that you really care about them. The rest can have gift cards in that new flat screen TV. I'm Josh Levine and you've been watching Josh Levine Speaks. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and share this with a friend. You might just get something cool yourself.